right, guys, welcome to the stream. This is Hamtaro from GGPR checking in. We're still waiting for the Go TV to be set up here, so bear with us for a few minutes here. You guys shouldn't miss anything, I don't think, once it's set up. You, we might miss just part of the first round, but we should be all right. So uh, stay tuned and I'll be back here in a moment.
guys, we're gonna get going here. The Go TV was being a little bit wonky, but I think we're in now. I think Pistol Round may have just ended. Let's see if we get in just in time for Pistol Round. Yeah, it looks like Pistol Round did just end. We turned down in game a little bit. This is ridiculous. So welcome to the stream everyone, this is GGPR versus Rugrats in a little bit of a pug formation. This is the DreamHack Winter 2020 Qualifier Quarterfinals hosted by ESCA. GGPR did take pistol around here on Vertigo, this was a veto pick. And this is a 4v4 situation here on second round. It looks like Rugrats did go for the buy as they're sitting on three Galils and a MAC-10 at the moment. Creed with only 14 HP, but he lands a nice molly there. He is going to get Mata down to high HP there. I don't know if it's going to be enough. And GGPR did get the defuse in the middle of all that mayhem. So, despite almost looking like they were going to go down there, in that chaos, GGPR does stick the diffuse inside of that smoke grenade. Just fixing the final settings here. I'm sorry about that, audience. <laughs> Looks like we're good to go now. Cobra taking out Creed early this round. HE grenade being exchanged. Rugrats still at a one-man advantage here. Lowrider going down at the hands of RZU there. Vic responding, trades on RZU. He hears the C4 going down. He's not able to do much about the plant going down because kind of planted default area behind that box there. There's Fang looking down at mid. He knew there could have been a GGPR rotator, and there was. George was there waiting for him. George does land that kill. Vic getting two of his own. George landing another kill of his own there. And GGPR is going to go up three to zero. A decent start for our boys here. We'll see what the economic situation is going into this round. Looks like both teams are actually somewhat equal economically. GGPR does have a few extra grand, but this is going to be a full buy from both teams here. So here's Rugrats, working up mid-ramp area. They're actually still down near the entrance to ramp in those two smoke grenades there as GGPR used some early utility to fend off that potential rush. So here's Vic wrapping around, just making sure that no one's gonna cheekily come upstairs there without him knowing oh cxzi with a nice peek onto creed there landing that ak-47 headshot see if lowrider is able to get the trade here and he is great angle from lowrider just barely with his crosshair above the plywood there unfortunately he does go down to rzu so did george snorts just before that so it's going to be a 2v4 situation for GGPR here. Feltner hears that C4 going down, but he does get quite a bit lit up there. He's going down to 33 HP. This might have to be a save for good game, unless Vic is able to get Fang, but he's not. So Cobra is going to clean up the last kill onto Feltner there, who only had 33 health remaining, so... Rugrats getting their first round in here. GGPR still up three to one. Looks like 
potentially an aggressive mid play from Rugrats here, but they are act they actually did send three stairs here, so this is a split. Fang did still come up mid though, and Feltner is gonna take him out. Let's see if his teammates on the split here are able to make something of it. RZU taking out Creed there, who is on corner boost. RZU looking at opposite boost, and he is gonna get Vic. As he peeks his head just barely far enough over. There's Mata potentially looking for a multi-kill here because he knows good game doesn't have that great of weapons at the moment. Feltner though, no worries. All he needs is a Famas taking out two there. 2v2 situation, extremely similar health on both teams right now. Both teams with approximately 35 to 40 health combined between both players. So everyone's in the red right now. George landing that Deagle kill onto RZU and Feltner backing him up with that Famas headshot onto Cobra. And that was an intense 2v2 situation. Good game coming out on top there and going up four to one. So let's see how Rugrats responds here. They do have majority rifles, or excuse me, one rifle. Good Game has majority rifles here with one MP9. Feltner, nice headshot at mid. He might line up a multi-kill here, maybe even a collateral behind Tarp there. Lowrider getting two with the MP9. Lowrider still alive. He might make this into a quite a highlight here if he wraps that peak at mid, which it looks like he's doing. And they don't quite know that Lowrider's wrapped that far. Uh, now they do. So let's see what Lowrider does. He knows he's been spotted. He took some damage. He's down to 47. Mata's only got 15, though, but still gets Lowrider with that crouch peek. Very smart play by Mata to use the crouch peek there. It would have been hard for him to survive without that, with the... Uh, Red HP he had going on there. Only 15 health still remaining for Mata. But he is alive. He's just bleeding from the neck. 1v2 situation for George. He's at full health right now. He does have head armor and a defusal kit. 37 seconds left on the round. Let's see how Rugrats pushes into sight here. Mata is definitely more vulnerable here, so he's going to fall back to that corner box. RZU moving up into sight. George landing that headshot, and that was the more important kill because Mata's only got 15 HP. Let's see if George is able to close him out. Only nine seconds left. Both enemies, oh, they both spotted each other, but Mata is going to come out on top of that 1v1 landing that AK headshot there. So another exciting round, that one going to Rugrats. GGPR still up four to two. Some early utility from both teams there. Clearly Rugrats has much more utility remaining as they're on a full rifle and utility buy at the moment with five helmets as well. Only two pieces of head armor on good game at the moment and Creed is gonna go down. He was not one of the members with head armor so he's gonna succumb to that AK headshot. Mata following up with another AK headshot on the low rider. George and Vic still alive. They're the two members that do have head armor at the moment. Vic is going to go down there to Cobra, and George is going to maybe try to get a cheeky Deagle kill and save an AK. He's wrapping mid here, but Mata knows he might be wrapping mid. Oh, George still gets him, but he's going to go down to 19, so it's going to be a slim chance that he's going to be able to get that AK and fall back. So there's George going down there. He was hoping to maybe get a 1D or something there. So GGPR still up four to three. Rugrats still on a, a 
full rifle round right now. Both teams playing a bit passively this round. Good game. Technically on a save this round. They are going to land that P250 kill at mid. 4v4 situation. 3v3 situation after that second trade by Creed. C4 has been planted. This is going to be a difficult take for GGPR. This could be maybe a cheeky kill by Vic, though, if he's able to wrap without RZU realizing. But RZU is already holding this angle now, so he is going to get that kill onto Vic. Feldner and Creed should be able to save these AKs without too much hassle here. As Rugrats is more just looking to get the W this round than go chasing for exits. So we're now tied at four to four. Feltner dropping a weapon there. Looks like he dropped an M4 to George. Vic also has an M4 right now. So let's see what good game decides to do here. They're on a majority rifle buy. They do still have Lowrider on the MP9, who is quite talented with the MP9, so they're by no means at a disadvantage this round. Lowrider on this boost here. Creed on close corner plywood boost. Let's see if this passive setup works out or if they've given Rugrats just enough space for them to do what they want. Cobra is going to be heard there by George, I believe. George making the quick peek, but he didn't quite notice Cobra by the railing there. So some comms are going out. Looks like the C4 is going to go down momentarily here at A. Vic landing that first headshot in the second kill through smoke there. Huge play from Vic. Creed backing him up with that kill onto Cobra onto opposite boost from inner sight. CXEI going to have to come up huge here, but he's only got 25 HP. He's not going to be able to do much, I don't think. Let's see if he proves me wrong. He does take out Lowrider there, but Vic... Was already on the wrap from tarp at mid so he's going to clean up cxzi and ggpr is going to go up five to four george with a big round with the he grenades doing 162 damage with just he grenades that round there may have been a molly involved in there too but so 162 damage from nades big from george that's the kind of utility you like to see So let's see if Rugrats decides to go aggressive again. It looks like they are. They've got this preliminary smoke down on wood ramp at mid. They've are, they're already up first ramp. Looks like Mod is looking for that short boost onto Creed. He's rapping. Creed didn't realize he was already up because he was inside of the smoke grenade. This could spell tragedy for Creed. But he, he did back up into a safe angle. He might have to raise his crosshair just a hair to hold off that close angle. And they know Creed is there. They're laying down some spam onto that metal wall. Looks like Creed is crouching now to avoid potentially getting spam headshotted there from that AK-47 fire on behalf of CX. So it looks like... Rugrats is going to make their move here. They are already on A. They are landing those first two. A third AK-47 headshot. So it's going to be a 2v5 
for GGPR here. Too difficult of a retake, most likely. So they're going to save this AK and M4. Let's see if any exit mayhem goes down here. We are tied at five to five. Good game looking a little bit better economically this round. We do technically have three rifles, although the third rifle is a FAMAS in the hands of George. And they're rounding out with two MP9s there on Lowrider and Creed. Might be a little bit difficult to hold mid against that op of CX, even if he's looking uphill vertical wise. Off, it's going to be hard to hold off, hold off there. So here's CX tossing a molly up mid there, just off to the right near sandbag slash corner box. And this might be... Oh, unfortunately Creed is going to go down. And yeah, I was going to say this might be another cheeky take... Rugrats as they take control of that boost there, which is exactly what they did. I won't even say cheeky, it was just smart. They caught our squad off guard there, looking down from opposite boost into A site. So it's up to Lowrider here. I don't know if he realizes that two members of Rugrats are actually really low. He actually. If he had a little bit more time, he probably would have a good shot at this, but there's just not enough time. But Cobra and Fang only had 9 and 11 HP, respectively. That would have been interesting if Lowrider maybe had had a HE grenade left or something, but they were a little bit tight on money there. He did have a molly, but I think it was probably better to save that for this round. Shout out to Thurston, shout out to Drew Pickles, Jordan Rogers, all the GGPR squad, Legendary 1H, Carve 1H. Our team has been practicing hard, Lowrider and the boys. Our coach Ninja, who many of you may know from the invite slash pro 1.16. So let's see, Rugrats potentially taking A again, and Feltner put in quite a pickle there. Not able to land that Desert Eagle headshot like he'd like to, but Lowrider responding with two AK kills of his own. He also did a little bit of damage on Amada, I believe, who went down to 87 there. Amada actually down to 37 now. 3v3 situation. Unfortunately, George just got his kneecap opt off, so he's down at 17 HP, no bandage, so he's going to die there. This is bringing us to a 2v1 situation, so it looks like we should still be able to pull this off. Let's see what the squad does here. Vic holding this angle. He can smell CX walking up, and he's going to get that AK headshot. That was a relief. I was really hoping he wasn't going to get headshotted in return there. It looked like both players were very ready for that angle. So, brings us to a tie game, 6-6. Six to six. This is a best of three series. Full match info on hltv.org, DreamHack Masters section. This is George holding stairs here. He got a little bit of utility down before 
Rugrats was able to move up too far, but Rugrats already up wrap at mid and taking out Lowrider. Creed responding with a kill onto CX, but going down at the hands of RZU. There is a Molotov down that is just dissipated, but that smoke is going to provide just enough cover to potentially get the C4 down. Lowrider, he's right next to Mata here. He's going to fall back. Vic may have hit that. Yeah, he did hit multiple spam shots there on Mata, who still was able to get the C4 down. He did go down to 69 health. 3v4 situation. Rugrats still on the one-man advantage here. Good game is going to save this round. Big thank you to all our sponsors helping make this happen. Emerald Dreams Lab. They're based out of Overland Park, Kansas. Great studio. ESB TV crew. Drew's Promotions and everyone else who's been helping out behind the scenes. Big thank you. Rugrats is up seven to six here. CX holding that double scope hard there at mid. He is gonna get Feltner with that. Rugrats has a good chance of taking A again here. Looks like they've really been heavy on A this entire half. Even though this is still a close game here. RZU going for that plant. He is in that smoke, which is not that close to dissipating yet, so got another five to eight seconds at least on that. Still one more smoke up. Almost sound, yeah, that it almost sounded like that was a fake diffuse for a second, even though I know George couldn't have possibly got that close. But Rugrats going up eight to six. This is the final round of the first half. We've still got a fairly close game on our hands here. Utility being exchanged at mid. RZU landing that collateral onto Lowrider and Feltner. And Mata landing two AK kills of his own. It's going to be all up to George with this MP9 that he's got. Throwing that little pop flash. Oh, ye. I was going to say, it almost looks like he got Cobra earlier. He does land the headshot. But not quite in time. So Rugrats going to get that final round of the first half there, going up 9 to 6. So we'll see if good game goes for an aggressive pistol round strat here. Uh -oh. And 2v1 situation. I Okay, yeah, no, this is... I was going to say, this has to be not live yet. I put my headphones back on. I was a bit confused why... It looked live. Okay, there's the live on three. So like I said, let's see if good game decides to play this aggressively or not. They're going with a traditional five glocks, two members with utility. It's gonna be Vic and Lowrider utilizing the utility. And three members of Rugrats pretty close there at mid. Looks like they're rotating back now. They just wanted to make sure good game wasn't going to try to rush up mid here. Good game maybe still looking to do a delayed A distraction with a B plant. Looks like that's what's going to happen here. I imagine the two members of GG that are 
over by B stairs are going to hold off until there's some noise made here at Wood Ramp. Vic holding that sliver of an angle. Everyone just showing their immaculate patience right now on both teams. Mata is going to be the first man to shoot, firing off a few silenced USP bullets there. Couple of them connecting with Lowrider, who's going to be down to 71 here. Fang spamming a little bit through that smoke. Looks like good game's in a good position to get that C4 down. And they had to stop for a second. C4 is not down. Yeah, okay, now it's down. C4 is down. Creed falling back to ramp. Almost got collateral there. Fortunately, did not. Landed two headshots of his own. One man advantage for GGPR there in a 3v2. Vic with a perfect sandbag peek there. Rugrats had no idea that Vic was still behind sandbags that whole time. Now they know, but not much they can do about it as Vic lands the final headshot of the round there onto RZU. So good game. Well within striking distance. Seven to nine. And they're going to have the momentum and the economic advantage going into this round. Creed opting to go for the AK, not messing around. Good game walking up mid. They've used quite a bit of utility. So there's about to be a head on collision here at A ramp. George with the pop flash. He's moving up. He's checking sandbags. There's going to be no enemies at sandbags. Vic! Spamming that UMP into side, he's going to land that headshot onto Fang Lowrider with a great Mac headshot onto CX. Let's see if Mata, no, he's not able to stop that C4 plant. Lowrider is down to 14 HP, so he might want to play it a little bit cool here for a sec. Let his, let his teammates handle this. Cobra's got this scout. He's looking to make something happen there in case there's a member of good game wrapping around tarp there but i don't think there's much rugrats is going to be able to do here they've got two pistols and a scout too many automatic weapons in the hands of good game for rugrats to retake that so they are going to be able to they are going to be able to save that five seven the deagle and the scout so Rugrats not in the best economic situation, but they do have a little bit of firepower right now. They are up by one round. Rugrats up nine to eight here in the second half. Anyone who's just joining us, welcome. This is Hamtara1H, GGPR content creator and caster. This is the DreamHack Winter 2020 Qualifier Quarterfinals. Best of three. This is the first match, Vertigo, by way of Vito. Oh, almost looked like that. Sc <laughs> Whoa. Some intense scouting there. Yeah, that first scout headshot did land, I believe. It brought Creed all the way down to 1 HP, and then he was killed off with that second shot. George is spawning with that kill onto RZU, but they're going to have to land that kill onto Fang, and they do. 2v2 situation, Lowrider and George untouched up until now, George going down. Lowrider almost taking out Mata, but he probably would have needed an instant headshot there to ensure the round. So Rugrats is going up 10 to 8 now.
Fang with some utility at mid. Mata throwing a nicely placed HE. He is going to get Vic and Lowrider with that AK there. Going to be a rough round for good game, but it was technically a light buy slash save for them. Two Deagle headshots, though, so actually we're in a 3v3 situation now, but Creed, unfortunately, only at 6 HP, and Feltner only at 22, although he does have some head armor left. Oh, CX is going to take out Feltner there, though. It's going to be up to George to really... Now it's really up to George. He's in a 1v3 situation. He's not quite going to be able to set up in time after getting the C4 down, but at least he does get that plus 300 from the... C4, all members of Good Game Wall, so that extra funding will come in handy this round so that everyone is insured head armor and they don't have to choose between that last grenade and head armor. So Rugrats up 11 to 8. Let's see how Good Game responds to the pressure here as we start getting later into the second half Cobra with a nice HE grenade but it, I think it landed just a little bit too far so it did do some damage but probably not quite as much as it could have Some rifle fire at mid, but Cobra's likely... Oh, actually, no. Creed's going to take him out. He's having none of that. Cobra almost getting a cheeky little peek over pick there. Excuse me. Fang was killed, but Cobra had to rotate more over into sight after that. Vic taking out CX. Two-man advantage for good game here. They're in a 5v3 situation. They do have five AKs and... Five sets of head armor right now. Bomb is going down. Cobra getting Creed down, but Mata looks like he's about to go down as well. He's at 15 HP, so Rugrats likely going to have to save here. Unless RZU goes into Iron Man mode, which I don't think he will, but he's flirting with it. He's still tossing some nades here. If he had maybe landed some kind of crazy collateral there, he could have moved in, but I don't think there's going to be enough time here to do much. Maybe he's just looking for an exit now. C4 is going to explode. GGPR now in a 9 to 11 situation. RZU leading all players in the server with 17 frags and 5 assists versus his 12 deaths. Excuse me, Mata actually just passed him. Mata has 19 kills currently. But Mata and RZU combining for 38 frags so far. Let's see if Good Game is able to take the 10th round they need here to bring it within one round potentially if they can get this. 5v5 situation, they do have CX down to 36. He's the man holding the op for Rugrats at the moment. And this is going to be a delayed B push. And maybe plant if they can take out RZU on corner here. But this is going to be difficult. They do get RZU. Nice play by George there, even though he was partially smoked. Still able to prevail. 
getting that much needed entry kill and it looked oh nice molotov from good game holding off mata there from going on to boost really nice molotov that's gonna buy good game just enough time to play some mind games here with Rugrats. Run the clock down. Just keep holding some angles here. They just heard Fang. Maybe? I thought there was a GGPR member closer it would ramp at mid, but. Looks like everyone's still pretty afar, except for Cobra. Cobra was close enough to get exit killed there by Creed as he just dropped down from a blue boxes there. So GGPR, they've been within striking distance essentially this whole game. They lost the lead about halfway through the first half and now Fast forward here to the 22nd round. They're down by one round. Unfortunately, George going down early there to CX. Cobra right there in that smoke. Let's see if Creed... Oh! And he ran by Creed, who's going to headshot him. Creed's not going to let that go any further. CX taking out Feltner and Fang with two great kills from Sandbags. Lowrider responding with an AK headshot onto Fang. 1v3 situation for Lowrider. He does have the C4. Realistically, I think the only way he could really go for this is if he gets this kill onto CX here. But CX already waiting for that wrap there in your yellow tarp. So Lowrider going down there, unfortunately, but still within two rounds. Rugrats up 12 to 10. All 10 players still alive here. That Molotov landing right onto Cobra. His teammate's going to extinguish that for him. He's going down to 68 regardless. He's going to make the rotate now just in time as he falls back into A site. couple of m4 kills there which is gonna lead to the roundup for rugrats who are going up 13 to 10 putting good game in a bit of a pickle economically they can almost buy but not quite they've got too many members in that 3k range lowrider opting for the cz some other pistols being bought here on GGPR. Bang taking out Feltner early this round. to be some action here at first sandbags at mid Mata with that first headshot Cobra backing up with two more AK headshots Creed nice one D gone to RZU CX gonna get the last kill of the round there onto Creed 
So Rugrats going up 14 to 10. Good game. We'll try to see if they can still come back here, but this is a best of three scenario. So even if they lose this map, they're still not out of this. So George did go down to 53 HP in that initial exchange there. So he's rotating back towards A. Good game. Looking to take A again this round. Cobra with some nice early utility there. That flashbang near tarp. Fang getting the first, second. Almost thought he was going to get a third there, but George responding. Creed with a nice kill on Damata. 3v3 situation. 2v2 situation, but George only has 31 HP. Let's see how this plays out. Good game. Really needs this round, otherwise it's going to be match point. George with a great kill onto RZU. That might have been just enough to swing the momentum to GGPR this round. So even though George goes down, there's not enough time. There is not enough time. What a great play by George. And Lowrider still getting the exit onto Cobra and avoiding the C4 as he steps off near ledge there. So Rugrats still up 14 to 11. Both teams with five rifles this round. Although Feltner with a slightly weaker rifle. He's got a Galil in his hands instead of an AK at the moment. Vic knows that Mata might be playing that spot up there again. He's waiting for the peak. Vic, nice spam through the smoke slash sandbag. It actually doesn't connect, but it was right there in the vicinity. Caused Cobra to fall back a little bit, but now Cobra's back. And Cobra with those cheeky little knife peaks. Just checking if he was going to get shot at. And here's good game. They're going to try to take BCX, taking out Feltner. George getting that trade. Let's see if they're able to hold off long enough for the C4 plan. The C4 is down. 3v3 situation, but huge play from RZU. 1v1. George versus Cobra. George with 100 HP. Cobra with 74. Huge round right here. Cobra with the right click smoke grenade. Tossing it down right in front of him. Three seconds left on the defuse. One second left on the defuse because he had a kit. And unfortunately, he is going to get that defuse. George did get him down to 8 HP through the box. But 
he wasn't quite close enough. He would have had to wrap the box. Still a nice try by George. Rugrats now in a match point situation. They're up 15 to 11. RZU, nice little headshot from connector slash opposite boost there onto Feltner. CX, he got dinked but still landed the kill onto Creed. That was insane control by CXZI. Two v four situation for good game. They've got an M4 and a scout. George is going down, and that is going to conclude the first match of this best of three. Rugrats is going to win this first match 16 to 11. I'm going to go ahead and restart the stream here as we get ready for this next match. So if you plan on watching the rest of this series go ahead and leave your tabs open just gonna go ahead and restart here <laughs> 